the, the night before she passed away, she asked me if she was going to die. And I said, if it was God's will. And she w hesitated for a, a little bit and said, I would, I'd like to have a memorial bench um, in my name. And I said, um, how about an entire park? And so that's how uh, Blue Heron started. Well, I think today's a great example of why preserving property like Blue Heron is so important. Um, it's really about the access for people. Um, yes, we're conserving uh, a great resource and helping to, uh, to make sure that our water supply is, is healthy, uh, but also people are coming out here, they're learning about the wild, they're catching fish, they're developing a relationship with the land, uh, which is critical. So I met Janet on a blind date in Toronto and um, within a number of months moved to Toronto uh, so I could go to the next uh, level of relationship. And so <clears throat> we fell in love and, um, and had a, a blessed uh, life together. We had a place in Hudson and we would go back and forth to Toronto, but um, she loved this area. I'd come home from work and she would say, take me somewhere I've never been before. She loved all the green space, all the parks and trails in this area. It was substantially greater than what she had experienced in Toronto. Um, and, um, and so we, you know, we walked a lot of trails, it discovered a lot of parks and um, went on many, many adventures um, in the area together. She just absolutely loved it. In 2010, they discovered that she had cancer, which was advanced. After Janet had passed, um, within a few months, I set out to look at land, and uh, we both had connected with the Land Conservancy, Western Reserve Land Conservancy, where our home is like five minutes away from the headquarters. I went over, spoke with Stella and Rich, and uh, wanted to take a look at land that was available. And so we went out and um, looked at several pieces of property that were owned by the Conservancy. And one of them was the sand and gravel pit in Newbury. And um, it, it, I connected with it instantly. There was a blue heron feeding on the large lake at the time and um, it had a very large wetland um, which I which I, I'm, I'm drawn to wetlands I have always been a passion had passion for wetlands and of course Janet with her her blue heron and they feed in wetland areas they have rookeries in wetland areas you know and so it was just kind of a natural and uh, I said you know um, I would consider what I had seen and later thinking about it and decided that um, that was the spot that was the right place, had the right feeling that I wanted to um, restore that land um, and uh, that I felt that it was right for Janet. You know, we'll restore it together and create it into a space that um, others can enjoy. We'll open it to the public and we'll create, you know, a a, a, a building there that will um, encourage conversation and creativity um, for young people. And we would, you know, um, gift it in Jan's name. And so uh, it's been, you know, a wonderful experience seeing it come to life.